Hey everyone, this is Grace. Hope you've been well. Happy Friday. So as you guys can see, I was able to drop by two of my Tuesday morning um, stores this week. Um, Pasadena as well as Glendora. And then these two are from my crafty colleague to help ring in week three of the academic semester. So let me go ahead and first dispense with this, share with you what I hauled this week. And then for those of you who want to hear me chit chat and update, you can certainly stick around for that. So uh, first things first, let's just go with what's on top. Ooh, sorry, I hope it's not too loud. This one is a four inch canvas binder, 2070065 for $1.19. And these are all the things inside. And I thought that this would be a really cute project to make. Um, and it's small so that it's not intimidating to create like a little mini album. And I thought it was so cute for $1.19, not too bad. And you guys know always in the description bar, I will leave the SKU locator 800 number. Okay. Now, you guys know I've been creating a scrapbook for my niece, and in conjunction with that, I have been on the lookout for certain things to put in my nephew's scrapbook. And so, can I just tell you, when um, I was housebound during the winter, I saw some of you haul this, and I was thinking, oh, I would love to find some cars die cuts because my little nephew loves the cars. He just loves anything cars. I think you guys remember my talking about him and how he's able to know the difference between the various Lamborghinis and the Ford Mustang. It's it's uncanny. I'm just like, wow. Anyway, so I was so thrilled to find this. So this is 20648867. Let me double check. No, I'm sorry. It's here. 20848675. So for 79 cents, I thought it was a great deal, especially when there are 44 pieces, um, because I have a lot of girly embellishments, but you know, for him, he likes cars, and I was thinking, am I going to have to pull out my car stamps, and then stamp them out, color them, and then fussy cut them to create embellishments for his scrapbook? I know it was such a nightmare just thinking about it, right? So I was thrilled when I found this. And then this one I thought was really pretty. Journey, Dream, Discover. I love that little bird. I think one of you said it was a chickadee, right? So pretty. And so, yeah, here it is. 2077472 for $249. It's called Nature. And then this, you guys know I love light bulbs. If you don't, if you didn't, you know now. <laughs> so this is 2096125. And I like um, inking this up, and so I thought that this would be really great, especially for brilliant ideas and so on. So idea, and then there's love. and So you guys know I just love embossing folders. <laughs> now this one is a paper pad, and I was actually thinking of not buying any more paper, but it was so pretty. This is the Secret Garden Collection by Bo Bunny. SKU is 2064877. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of how pretty this paper is. Isn't this gorgeous? Especially for those adult like cards that I need to make for my mother. I thought that these would be such a pretty... And then this one I bought for my niece. <laughs> and I have a funny story to tell. But anyway, this is 20... What are you? Two zero eight six nine four two for four ninety nine. It's the Sum Sums. So when um, niece and nephew came by because um, they wanted to make sure that you know their aunt was doing well and all of that, um, so they came by to visit before the spring term began, and they had seen the uh, Wizard of Oz puzzle that I had purchased. Um, from Holler, and that's a thousand piece one. And um, the dimensions on that, it's huge. It takes up literally an entire dining table. How do I know? Because currently, right now, my sister's dining table is occupied with that puzzle. <laughs> 
Anyway, my niece looked at it and she's like, Auntie, can I have that? And I was like, of course. You know, I had actually purchased one for them, but I just never got, got a chance to give it to them. And I thought a thousand pieces may be a little bit too much for a little second grader. Well, she went and she took it and they're having a blast. Well, she's having a blast. My sister, not so much. <laughs> but anyway, um, I saw this and she knows I love Tsum Tsums. And I, you guys know, um, Wendy knows I love Tsum Tsum. Hey, Wendy. And so um, from time to time, I will buy them Tsum Tsum things, like little Tsum Tsums and such. They call them Sum Sums. I call them Tsum Tsums, but oh well. <laughs> anyway, I saw this and it's 300 pieces. And because there's so much little detail, I figured it would be easier for my niece to piece together. So pick this up for her. Now let me see if I can get at the paper. Hold on. All right, so... This is, I think, American Crafts, and it's along the way. And it's a 25 pack. That's $2.99. Let me go ahead and share with you the SKU 2097812. Now, I bought this certainly because of this. It's really pretty design, and you guys know I like making things in multiples and such. So having 25 of the same design is great. But take a look at the back, and I'm hoping the color translates on film. It's this beautiful like periwinkle. It's coming out a little dull in the camera, but it's this kind of vibrant um, periwinkle blue and it's like polka dotted. Can you imagine the possibilities with this? All right. So anyway, pick this up and this is from the Pasadena store and then check this out. Again, I was so I was, you know, looking at some of your videos with longing when I saw these little girls. And honestly, from those paper pads, this is really all I wanted, you know, the little girls, pictures of the little girls. And so I was so excited when I found this. Again, along the way, Jen Hatfield. And um, there are tags certainly that you can cut out. And then you can use these as like banners too so that you don't end up wasting those little pieces. But you can use them certainly as tags, as cards, in scrapbooks. I was thinking of cutting this and putting a little um, tag and then using it as embellishments in my scrapbook for my niece. How cute, right? So anyway, let me go ahead and share with you the SKU for this one in case some of you are on the lookout. 2097812. And then on the back of this, because they're double-sided, is kind of like the composition lined paper which could be useful for some of you. But for me, I bought it for this side. And then this one, luckily, I like both this and this. So it'll be, oh, you can kind of see the blue this way. Do you see how vibrant it is? Anyway, so there's that. This was the Pasadena store. So I was very happy to find this. And it was so funny because I went as a treat to myself on my way home from work on Monday as a way to you know, treat my, you know, cheer myself up and, you know, kind of give myself enough energy to get through the week. This week was definitely a tough one. The academic term is now officially in full swing of things. But anyway, apparently the Pasadena guys hadn't finished unloading their shipment because they just got bogged down with stuff. And it was so funny. One of the guys was like, you know, by the time tomorrow we should have everything done by then so you can come by and I was like tomorrow's a busy day <laughs> if I'm lucky maybe I'll take Bentley out today Friday and you know for an outing so we'll see um, I do have a lot of things so we'll see if I get a chance to take Bentley out all the way to the Tuesday morning over there anyway so there was that and then let me share with you this is from the Glendora so this was the these are the two punches from my um, crafty colleague and I just decided to show you in case some of you are looking for these. These are the EK Large Snowflake Punch 2068982 and this is what I mean. Isn't that nice? So you punch two of these, one in a dark blue and one in a light blue. You offset that and then voila. And if you want you can put like Wink Stella or you know whatever. So not pretty. Yeah these two are the punches I was told not to buy and then look how pretty that is and if you don't like the plain blunt you know plain color you can then use designer paper and then add another layer to this offset 
um, very ornate snowflake. Isn't that pretty? So this is a vintage snowflake. That's what it's called. 2069004. Now, these were the gifts from my crafty colleague this week. I ended up giving her the, um, what was it? The artistic impressions. You know, the one about the coworker and then the teacher stamp. <laughs> so funny. I had, I had to get her a set. Anyway, um, now, this one I picked up from the Glendora store. So this and this is from the Glendora store. Now, I had seen this before and I hadn't thought to pick it up, but since the time I saw it and then until today, for some reason this week, I've been on kind of a banner kick. It's weird. Now, most of the banners I have are kind of curved, right? But if you notice, this banner is straight. So it allows for me to stamp out some of the straighter sentiments that I have in my stamp sets and then punch this out and then create, you know, fashion a nice little banner like that. And so that's really why I picked this up because I wanted to have a banner that was straight instead of curved. Otherwise, I feel like I need a curved sentiment. So the SKU for this one is 2068996. Nine, so there's that. Whoa, so sorry. Hold on, let me reposition. All right, so this was in the Glendora store and um, for my little youth kids, my little sixth graders, some of them are into crafty stuff or they're they're slowly getting into it. And so I have this little treasure chest that I stuff things in. Um, hold on, I'll show you. This is the treasure chest that I stuff things in. And I think I bought this actually a Tuesday morning. And then I'll put little things in here. So like this one is a set of stickers that I put together a little pack. This one is the little itty bitty and you know, and then this is like a washi tape. So when they do their Bible memory, I let them pick something out from there. And so this little stencil kit was actually purchased with that in mind because I figure some of them will like to do stencils. And so yeah, it's like this nice little folder. And what you get is this. So those are the stencils. And then you get 18 stencil designs, six folded note cards, six envelopes, and then instructions. So 2090015. For $1.99, I thought it was a great deal. Um, especially if take a look at the comparable estimated value. I can totally see this being sold at some stores like Barnes and Nobles and things like that. So pick that up. And then this was something that they had new, but I really liked this idea. What it is, is you get to create 16 custom scratch cards. And so you stick this onto the cards that they have, and then, you know, they have a, the, the recipient has fun, like scratching out secret messages and stuff. So those are the various card designs. And then here's the SKU 2090012. 399 I thought that was a great deal. You get 16 cards, 8 designs of 2 each, 16 envelopes, and then 50 scratch-off stickers. So I thought, if nothing else, you can use these certainly, but then you can also use these scratch stickers on um, cards that we make, right? So picked those up. And then um, I picked two of these up, one for me and then one to give as a gift. And Again, packaging, this is really sturdy. It's not acetate, it's almost like a thick, durable plastic that functions like a glass, but it's called Joie du Jour, box of labels. And those are some of the labels that you see, and they're stickers, isn't that great? So I picked this up because I could totally see myself using this for scrapbooks, cards, or what have you, so pick that up. Let me show you the skew on this one because it was on the plastic. So 2090011 for $1.99. Isn't this great? So 30 sheets of labels. And then the other one that they had was this, which is Dandelion Fields box of labels. And this is so pretty. Take a look. Isn't that pretty? And it's varying designs. And so here are three of the I think six or seven designs that they have. So pretty, huh? 
You can use this incidentally for cards certainly or scrapbooking, junk journals, but you can also use this as um, labels for your envelopes if you want to um, decorate your envelopes a little bit and then you can write the person's name and address on these little um, sheets. So anyway, so the skew on that one, whoops, is Dandelion Fields 2090008, again for $1.99. So this was at the Glendora store. I wonder if um, the Pasadena store got any of this because, again, these were, I did not see any of this at the Pasadena store. Now, the last thing that I picked up was this. Um, usually, I try not to pick up any Project Life stuff just because I have so much paper. But, and here's the SKU 199-337-8499. But I like the fact that it was it says here every single card is silver foiled and wouldn't these make really great things for Christmas cards all right so if I'm really really honest I bought this whole pack for mainly the embellishments I will definitely use all of these don't get me wrong but how adorable are these little embellishments <laughs> hey look Yep, so that's why I bought them. <laughs> anyway, so that is my entire Tuesday morning haul for this week. I was actually quite pleased with this um, because, you know, I first just looked at it and I was like, oh, it's another banner set. And then I bypassed it. But then I realized it's a straight banner. And I was thinking, oh, I need straight banners because I want to be able to sometimes create really pretty um, sentiments like banners, um, have banners for those sentiments. So anyway, this concludes the extent of my Tuesday morning haul. Um, for those of you who want to stick around, by all means, stick around as I chit chat. I want to share with you part of the organization that I did. So hold on. All right. So what I did was I am slowly but surely every weekend moving some stuff into my craft staff slash study room it's mainly going to be for my study but I still craft and stuff so um, this rose gold um, paper tray I think I ended up getting these for 50 cents at Holler and you guys know they're way more than that but um, there's the little Pomeranian um, Hallmark ornament and then those were the little peanuts figures that Wendy had sent me and then with God all things are possible that's actually, oh, huh, I forgot. I got that at Tuesday morning, huh? Hold on. All right, so that's what it looks like. And for those of you who want to get it, get one yourself, it was actually quite, like, cheap. I was so surprised. 2070, no, 2071003 for $3.99. Anyway, so that's the top. This is my inbox of things I have to do. And then this is my outbox of things I have completed. And so I have yet to move my stuff from my book bag to this. But by the end of the weekend, this should be full and this should be empty. <laughs> anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you as I'm going through. Whoa. So this is one of my bookshelves. And this is what I was pleased with. I finally was able to organize and pull out the majority of my paper. So you'll notice um, I wrote on the spines um, what Tina does. Um, and I write the um, name of the collection, the paper pack collection, on the adhesive portion of it. So I know, you know what I'm looking at without having to go through every single one. I can kind of check in a bird's eye view. So that's my Hello Kitty stash. And it was so funny. My sister's like, you have four Hello Kitty paper pads? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, ooh, you can give me one or two. And then those are my bow bunnies. And then that's the Madeline um, collection. Of course, my Graphic 45. There's the Prima paper pad that Sheila had given me. And then Santa's Journey. And that's all of my, um, what's it called? <sighs> you guys, help me out. It's the one, the Edwardian, hold on. Okay, this is what happens when I'm filming towards the end of the week. Downton Abbey, that's my Downton Abbey paper pads. And then my gorgeous girl paper pads are here. 
And then this is the Sunshine One packet. And then that is just miscellaneous paper pads from um, the single designs from Tuesday morning. And that's from the Recollections, Michaels, usually when they have them on sale for like two for ten. Then those are a lot of the hot buys. And then some, obviously, from Tuesday morning. Those are my basil papers. So, yeah, but this is so fun. And it's just really nice to be able to see all of my paper corralled into one area. I still have a section of Graphic 45 paper. But, again, I'm still in the process of slowly but surely organizing. So um, this is not all of my paper pads, but it's a good chunk of it. So... Doesn't it look neat? I was so pleased. <laughs> Every other part of my room may look a little bit messy, but this is so neat. I was so pleased. Anyway, um, yeah, this week, week three was, um, it, the academic term is definitely in full force. And I think on Tuesday, what was it? I ended up lecturing and then went directly to a meeting and then went directly from there to another, you know, lecture. And by the time the day was over, I looked at my lunch bag and I was thinking, huh, I only like ate a third of it because I was just basically eating like in between classes and lectures. And so um, I have to be better about that certainly. But yeah, I mean, um, it is what it is. I am thankful certainly that um, I am able to teach and um, get through the week and still do what I do. Um, I think my family just looks at me and they're just amazed. And to them and to me, I feel like my um, recovery thus far has been certainly a miracle. We're continuing to pray for a complete miracle. And that will be, I think, it'll it will take some time. But um, I am going in for some scheduled exams on towards the end of this month. And so that will give us a better idea of just how well I'm recovering so yep but I wanted to just come by and share with you my latest haul Tuesday morning haul and then oh, I, I suppose if you guys really want to see another portion I can show you hold on see this part is not quite as organized and then there's when you open that those drawers I have stuff in there but Yep, I need to organize more and more. But yeah, that's my little um, house mouse. That's a, one of them near the carousel that Kathy ended up gifting me. So, yep. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is so... Ah, uh, it's there's a lot I need to organize, huh? But the reason why they're all out here is these are the stickers and embellishments that I wanted out in the open so that I know which ones I want to use for my um, little niece's scrapbook. Mainly a lot of this is going to get used and some of that stuff over there. But anyway, um, just wanted to say hi. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I am actually going to be back. Hold on, I need to sit down. Hold on. All right, you can look at part of my cluttered desk while I chit chat a little bit more. Um, so this weekend, what you can expect is um, I have a Stampin' Up! loot video. Um, thanks to the generosity and support of a ton of the women here, I was able to get some really cool things from Stampin' Up! Um, and then, of course, I wanted to take advantage of a 50% off item. So ended up um, making some purchases out of pocket. And then um, I have some happy mail from Kathy and Jamie, who is Poet Spice here on YouTube. And I have a surprise this weekend to share with you. So hopefully um, I'll be able to do that. But yeah, other than that... Um, for me, it's going to be very much a working weekend. That proposal that I was talking to, um, to you guys about last week for the upcoming um, conference in October, it has actually grown in magnitude. <laughs> I was actually just envisioning um, myself and another colleague putting it together and presenting, and now it looks as though... Um, just because of the magnitude of what we're attempting to do and present, um, 
there are now five of us involved in the project. And so over the weekend, um, we decided to divide and conquer. And so we opened up a Google Docs, and I think everyone's going to, you know, write draft the preliminary portion and then take a look, and then we'll meet again on Tuesday to kind of touch up some stuff. And, and then, yeah, we'll finalize it and then submit the proposal on Thursday. And then I think it usually takes a few weeks at least to see if, to wait to see if our proposal was accepted, which I think it should because my college is one of the first to implement everything that um, the state of California is requiring um, the colleges to do by this fall. So um, it's really exciting to be part of that and on some level spearheading it. But again, it's, yeah, an additional thing to add to my plate um, with all of the courses that I'm teaching. So, um, yeah, so this weekend is that, and then next weekend officially starts the crazy round of paper grading. So you guys remember what that's like, right? I get a little bit um, preoccupied when I start to grade papers because, you know, each paper takes about, what, 10 minutes to grade, and currently I have about 100 students. Um, so, I mean, when you do the math, it takes a while to grade first round of papers, second round of papers, third round of papers, and then they've got their research paper. And so I think between now and finals, I, that's just going to be, you know, so yeah, but continue to pray for me, certainly energy level wise that I stay as energized as I have been, that I continue to take good care of myself and not overextend myself. Um, yeah. And I think that's it, right? I feel like, yeah, I think I've updated you all <laughs> on enough things. <laughs> um, ongoing right now is the card fundraiser, the Easter card fundraiser challenge that I have. So um, if you are thinking of entering and sending those in, um, certainly by all means, send them in. If you guys want to send them directly to my house, um, email me, especially those of you who've sent things in before. And I certainly don't mind giving you my direct home address, so it's just faster. Because, yeah, it takes a while when it gets sent to the P.O. box. Oh, I remember what I wanted to also say. Because the semester's in full force, I will say that the speed with which I reply to emails and reply to comments may not be as, you know... Yeah, even now, I, it takes me days before I reply to comments, huh? I read them really quickly. It just takes me longer to reply. But anyway, I will make sure to reply to each and every comment. You guys know I love reading your comments. So, all right, I better stop rambling. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And if you go to Tuesday morning, certainly, and you see some of these, I hope you too are successful in finding some lovely, yummy, you know, crafty goods. Seriously, this, I think, is such a great find. I know. Some of you are like, Grace, you're just discovering this now. I know, but it's like a straight banner. See, there's my cell phone. Hello. Yeah, but it's like a straight banner. It's oh, it's so lovely. I can't wait. Anyway, um, all right. Bye. I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> this is so all over the place today, huh? Anyway, have a great Friday, and I hope to be able to see you in another video, either later this Friday or maybe Saturday. If I'm really good and I take a creative scrapbooking break and I create another two-page layout for my niece's scrapbook, I will make sure to share that with you probably on Sunday. If you don't see one on Sunday, then you'll know. Oh, Grace did not get to finish. So anyway, like, subscribe. Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend, okay? God bless. Bye.